It's a legal drama spanning two decades. An off-duty police officer killed. Witnesses recanting their testimony. Last-minute court decisions sparing a convicted man's life. A family convinced of his innocence and a grieving mother who wants closure. But the final chapter could be near, with the execution of Troy Davis scheduled for Wednesday at a Georgia prison. The mother of slain officer Mark McPhail wants justice for her son. I think I finally will have a peace of mind. I can only hope for it and, and think it will happen, that I think now it is over, I can close that book. A judge sentenced Davis to death in 1991, but several witnesses, unsure of what they saw, recanted their testimony. Some said another man pulled the trigger. Prosecutors say ballistics evidence and other witnesses linked Davis to the crime. Legal challenges have delayed his execution three times and garnered him international support, from the Pope to former President Jimmy Carter and advocacy groups worldwide. The reason it has attracted the world's attention is because it is so blatantly clear that there's no reason for that man to be sitting on death row tonight. Annalise McPhail says advocacy groups are meddling. And that's how they stay in alive, by putting their nose in everybody else's business. But I feel stay out of it unless you've been sitting in the court and heard the original trial. But Davis's family is grateful. After their mother died this year and a sister became gravely ill, Kim Davis is helping mobilize support for her brother. The spotlight is not actually on me. The spotlight is actually on the world. And, you know, this picture is bigger than Troy Anthony Davis. It's something that's actually global. And, you know, we've grown, we have grown supporters from all over the world. With his legal options exhausted, Davis and his supporters hope the Georgia Pardons Board will spare his life by granting him clemency. Kate Brumbach, Associated Press, Atlanta.